hey guys welcome back to my channel today is going to be a get ready with me video yeah so it's going to be a chit chat get ready with me video so just gonna get into the video straight away um i haven't got anything on my make I haven't got anything on my face, but no makeup on whatsoever. So we're just gonna get straight into it. And I'm using kind of like new products, but some of these products are oldies, but most of them are actually new because um, some of you did want a updated makeup routine. So I thought, let's do this. So yeah, I'm just gonna use this coconut hydrating mist from e.l.f., which I recently picked up in a Sephora haul. I like the smell, it is quite strong. I think it's too much of a coconut scent. A bit too much but i do like it really nice for summer as well if you're going on holiday i recommend getting this take it by the beach with you like just to give you that boost if you feel like your skin feels dehydrated this is great and it's got hyaluronic acid and vitamin c in so i love that just gonna apply a bit of lip oil and charlotte tilbury all the products that i'm using in the description box as well for you guys this look this look that i'm doing today is one that i've been doing recently i don't actually wear like a lot of makeup day to day as you guys know but um if i'm going out if i'm going for like a coffee day or something like that and i just want to look a bit more like put together this is what i tend to do um so yeah like it's nothing too heavy but it's like my go-to look with a few changes in products pretty much so it's like the same kind of routine but with different products i'm going to do my brows and i'm actually using the viewfinder so if i look crazy that's what that is but i might get a smaller mirror as well just because I don't want to look back on the footage and be like, uh, what's that, you know? So I'm just kind of filling in my brows. I've got quite a thick brow anyway, but I do like to um, fill it in. I like to fill in the scar mainly because that, I just want it to look a bit more full. But yeah. Fill that in a bit. Sometimes I do tint my brows to make them look a bit more black. Normally I just use black hair dye, like, yeah. <laughs> but um, I have actually ordered some new brow stuff from Sephora because I want them to look more, I like the laminated brow look. I like how it it looks like real hairs okay i do have the real hairs there by itself but i do like the way that looks so this brow looks really really dark let's just make it look a bit lighter and my makeup routine it is very very simple it's really quick i can normally do this look in about five five ten minutes to be honest but it's because i know i know what goes where pretty much but can you see the glow? Like my skin looks so nice and glowy from that e.l.f. spray. Guys, can you believe it? I still haven't got a new concealer for around my brows. But I'm still going to use... I've got a tiny bit left. This is... Oh, there's some left. This is from e.l.f. Uh, it's not from e.l.f. This is from L.A. Girl. It's the Pro Concealer. This is an iconic concealer for me, to be honest. And it always will be. I don't know why I didn't pick it up that day that I said I would. I think I bought something else that day. Which was a bad choice. I need to get one really. Even when me and my friend went to London a few weeks ago. When me and my friend went to London like last week. I told you we went into Beauty Base and they did have it there. But I don't know why I didn't pick it up. I think I just was like... I was overwhelmed with everything else that I wanted. I had like all these different brands in store. I wanted to go crazy, guys. I wanted to like get all the skincare stuff and all like all these moisturizers and all these face masks. But I thought, let me just slow down. Let me not be excessive. And I'm trying not to be excessive with purchasing because cost of living is gone through the roof. As we all know, inflation is inflationing i went to tesco today and what did i get i think it was cucumber cucumbers 80p i was like no cucumbers used to be 50p last year at this time if i go back and check like an old receipt i'm sure it was 80 pence 50 pence even i'm sure it was 50 pence i was like this is not cute right and I just set them where they got to be 
edge thing i do want to just get a clear one because i do feel like sometimes this is really really strong it is amazing don't get me wrong but sometimes the brows don't actually move sometimes i don't want it to look like sometimes i want it to look a bit more you know natural okay great so now i'm going to use these two concealers i like to use this orangey one around my mouth from uh l'oreal around my mouth because it's kind of orangey and i like to use it a bit under my eyes as well because it takes away the darkness it's like a corrector really it's not orange but can you see like it has the orangey hue and i just go around and kind of get rid of any of the darkness under my eyes because if you go in straight with the concealer if it's not like a really full coverage one but if you go and brighten your under eye straight away it will go gray so you've got to correct it first so that's what i'm doing here and with me like and most women of color we do tend to be quite dark around our mouth you see and we have to make it all one seamless color and like once you color correct once you put your foundation on and stuff it just looks so much better like you see already and sometimes i color correct down here as well um i just take the excess and just pop it there like you see the difference already like what that has done is just made such a huge 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 difference i haven't really been wearing like foundation liquid but when i'm going out i do like to wear this rimmer one i just put tiny and i just go in with that just to cover like the forehead area nor like my closure and stuff but like i'm sorting that out <laughs> i'm gonna sort that out towards the end of the video but yeah um just like so yes like so and i'm really into makeup at the minute i just think it makes people just look so great obviously like that's my job but yeah i'm just liking makeup at the minute and how just perfecting the makeup routine really for myself and trying new things i'm gonna use New con the newer con this newer concealer I picked up is the Elf Hydrating one in Rich Walnut. I love this concealer. I just use a tiny bit here, and it's not the color that it is on the camera. The color is actually more cool toned in real life. It looks really orangey on camera, but trust it's not. But I like this for brightening up my under eyes. It's not quite heavy under my under eyes. I like it to look quite lifted you see i don't like it to look yeah i don't like it to look um what's the word heavy i want it to look lifted so i do take it down here and i take it all the way up and i love this brush it's from real techniques it's the setting brush i think i've had it for like i don't know how long maybe like eight years and i don't think they sell it anymore but if they do i'll find I'll find it and link it. But if they have one similar, I will find it and link it as well. If I can even get another one, I would. Because it is amazing. Amazing. Amazing for concealer. Like, it just blends it all away really, really nicely. And I just take a bit here. Cool. So that is pretty much my base done. Like, that's how I've been doing my base. Um, that's pretty much my foundation and concealer done. I've been really into cream blushes, so I've been loving this Rouge Noir one from uh MUA and I just pop a little bit on the cheeks but what I do is so that it doesn't like start to pull my makeup I use a setting mist this one I love as well from Revolution and just spray this then just get a brush wait for my skin to dry a bit and then I just tap it in and I go quite high up I like it to be like lifted I don't want it to look like you know I don't want to lower the face I want to make it look nice and high take it across the nose as well and just blend it upwards great sorry about the lighting if it keeps changing I'm I'm so sorry um, and then I'm using this blush now from 
beauty bag. Used this in my last video and I've been using it recently. It's called Mallow. It's actually really dark, but it's not coming across as dark uh, recently. I'm not sure if I got a tan or what that is, but it's like a berry color. Like you see, but it just makes me look like flush, but like natural flush. I've just been taking it on my eyes as well. It's quite red. On my eyes, it looks more red. So yeah, that's pretty much like my base done. Now, set my under eyes. I'm just going to use this Pro Base Powder from MUA on my little trusty sponge. And I'm just going to tap it underneath my eyes. This is like the same kind of undertone as the concealer. So it just goes really nicely. And I just like to leave it there for like a few seconds. I'm just going to run some brown liner along my lash line. Just to make it look more natural. I don't really... It just defines the eyes and makes it look a bit more natural. This is from Rimmel, by the way. And Rimmel have been killing it lately. Like, I've been loving some stuff from Rimmel lately. Now I'm just going to dust... I'm just going to dust away that powder. With a clean brush. Make sure the brush is clean. You don't want to have any like extra foundation or any bronzer or like any different colour on that. Otherwise it would just change the colour of everything. What I do is I just use this powder from Studio London. I love this. I just take it down my neck just to make everything blend because I do have a bit of discoloration on my neck. So, and I just take it all over because it's like the same colour as my skin kind of like so just gonna do my mascara off camera because it takes me a minute to do and um yeah i'll be right back when i'm done with my mascara okay so okay so my mascara is done um i have been curling my lashes lately but i'll wait for this to dry and what i do is i curl my lashes before put the mascara on and then i curl my lashes after the mascara is dry after the mascara is dry um but yeah, the mascara is amazing. You guys already know. It's the Power Lash one from Makeup Revolution. Set my lip line. Uh, I'm just going to use this brown pencil from Rimmel again. Because it's really dark. Yep, so I've just lined my lips there. Now for lip, I change, I'm not a loyal person for lips. I don't wear the same lip every day. I like to change it up. So today, thinking to try, today I'm thinking to try my new gloss from e.l.f. It's the plumping gloss in Mauve Lady, Mauve Lady Dame. That's the name. So yeah, let's try this on. It's like a pinky color. Ooh, it's pretty. Ooh. It's like a pinky colour. But they said it would be really nice on dark skin. Um, when I looked. When I looked, and I think it's true. I think the colour's nice, guys. What do you think? It looks like just brown. It doesn't look pink, but... I do like the colour. I think it's pretty. Uh, and then I'm just going to spray my skin. I feel like I'm missing a step. I feel like I've missed something, but I don't think I have. It's just my makeup routine is that simple. I'm just going to use my mist again. I'm just going to use my setting spray again. Um, yeah, so that's my face done. I'm going to do my hair and I will be right back. I did add a bit of the butter gloss in caramel in the middle because it looks it looks a little bit too brown. Okay guys, so I've sorted out my hair a bit. Tried to lay it down. I've just left it like wavy. If you know, you know. <laughs> I love body wave hair. I just like natural wavy hair where it looks natural and just like body wave-ish. But yeah, that is um yeah, that's my makeup done. Thank you so much again for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite products are, what videos you want to see, and I will be sure to film them. I hope you like this video again, and I'll see you in my next one.